the makers of Mario Rabbids. For a minute there, I thought that was an avocado. That doesn't look that cyan to me. It really doesn't. Do you have tacos? Your help. There's a great deal of history that you should know. But I'm afraid that I must continue my writing. Here. Most of what you'll need to know is in there. Keep it well hidden. I'll put it in my back pocket. For reasons you'll discover, I can't send you to Riven with a way out. But I can give you this. It appears to be a linking book back here to Dunny. But it's actually a one-man prison. You'll need it, I'm afraid, to capture Gan. Who? Oh. found Catherine. Signal me, and I'll come with a linking book to bring us back. That is a big book. That squishes a lot of spiders. There's also a chance, if this all goes well. I might be able to get you back to the place that you came from. Uh, I, I swear I see eyes in some of those static panels. Also, quite a literal title drop. What the fuck? We're in prison, Lantern and Surratt. <laughs> well, wait a minute. I was just reading a book. How did I get here? <laughs> just lucky, I guess. <laughs> oh, God damn it! it's one of those books. <laughs> <laughs> wait, what? Why are we behind bars? Hey, yo, dude. Sure. Yo. I don't speak French. It was this big. I'd like a large number three. Do you have shamrock shakes yet? Hey! Bad touch! Bad touch! Hey! Hey, we need that for things. Yeah, that's where we keep our whiskey. You okay there, dude? I, I don't think he's okay. He's getting eaten by a Gru. In the Wrong series. <laughs> Someday we should actually play the Zork games. I only know them by parody. Oh my god, it's a ninja. He's not a very good ninja, I can see him right there. Yeah. But at least he was nice enough to let us out. Hey! 
Dude! That was our book! He was actually breaking the lever there, but they took the book. God damn it. But yes, greetings and salutations, viewers. I'm Star Princess HLC. Welcome to Riven, the sequel to Mist. So, um, we we don't know what's going on right now. We we were visiting Atris and Dunny, and uh, he told us to get Catherine. We're gonna need that book that that jerk just stole for Gen. Mm -hmm. We're in Riven. We don't know what any of this means. We also don't have a way back. We do not. Clearly not. So, well, we might as well uh, eg exit our cage and start looking around here. Whoop. And um, I see this is different from the Mist game we played because clicking. Yeah, everywhere. this is this is like the original Mist and not the remake that gives you free roam. Yeah. So. You can try to click on that lever that he, uh... But it, it, he broke it. Mm -hmm. Darn. Oh, okay, there we go. That's how I get that off. Yep. Yeah. You can also, in certain places, move towards the top to look up. Okay. And the bottom to look down, so... That, that's, that's the extent of it, and if you want to go somewhere straight, you just click on that point. Okay. Also, you can click on that book he gave us to get a bunch of writing. Oh, yep. Look at all that writing. <laughs> There's a lot. And this, if you take the time to read through this, we you can get the basic plot of what you need to do. Mm -hmm. So, you go ahead with this. So, the lore dump. <clears throat> Basically, where we are is the Age of Riven, also known as Age Number 5. This was an age that was linked to by Gen, Atrus's father. Um, when the Dunny civilization fell, Gen was not particularly far along in schooling, so he's not great at writing books to ages. Gen strongly believes that the Dunny actually create worlds as opposed to linking to them. And so, Gen views himself as a god. Years ago, Atrus and Gen were in a big conflict, and Atrus basically managed to escape from Riven and trap Gen here with no ways of getting out. However, shortly before the, sto before the Game of Mist happened, um, Atrus' son, Cirrus and Akdar, managed to get Atrus trapped, and they convinced... Uh, Catherine to come here because they were like, oh no, Gen's gonna escape. So now, um, so now, Atrus has sent you to rescue Catherine to come up with a more permanent solution to Gen. And, um, you have to do this before the age collapses because it's in danger of doing so because the book is that badly written. You may have noticed that the book he was writing in was massive. Mm -hmm. Um, that is because there are two different types of linking books. There's just the regular linking book, which is kind of like the one he handed us. And then there's the descriptive one, which is kind of the core book. If something bad happens to the core book, all of the linking books crap out. And uh, so Atris has to basically stay there and keep working in, for lack of a better term, software patches to try to keep the Age of Riven intact while you go and do the heroic thing. Okay. Okay, did I miss anything? I, I think that covers it. So go back to the ice cream cone there. Okay. And you looked at pretty much everything, but there's a button on the right side there. Yep. It doesn't work either. But notice there are pipes leading to this thing. Yeah. Uh, looks like it looks like it kind of disappears into that mountain, doesn't it? Yeah. Okay. Keep that in mind. Okay. And so, now you're going to go the only... Now you can only really have one path you can follow here. So, um... The ice cream cone we were looking at is actually a telescope. But no but one it, knows that yet. I mean, I kind of guessed that, by the way, why I was able to look through yeah. it, but... 
So turn back a second. Okay. And don't go across the bridge, but go into the room on the right. Okay. Or at least look through it. Okay, there's a moon, a beetle, and another moon, looks like. They're all beetles. Okay. And you can walk actually... up to yeah, if you walk up to the pillar, you can pull the little string on the bottom. Oh. And then click the click the uh, dark circle there. Oh, there's a picture inside. Yep. Oop. This means it absolutely nothing to you right now. It may mean something later. Okay. But each of these beetles has a different picture inside of it. Okay. Now, okay. Oh. there's also a bunch of nondescript writing. Mm-hmm. Do you see something funny in the middle of all that writing? There looks like to be a dot. Yeah, it is, kind of. Just that. keep that in mind for a few minutes from now. Uh, okay. So, but you notice there are two doors in this room. Uh-huh. Right now, one leads to a closed-off grate, and the other leads to where you came from. Yep. Okay, so leave this room and then turn around. Okay. Go one step forward. There's a button Big here. button. Push the button. A friend of mine, this is the thing they remember most from the game. And welcome to the first puzzle of the game. This is known as the gate room. Mm-hmm. So... I see you. Uh-huh. You notice that the door, ha the other door, has also changed positions. Yes. It was over to the left one slot, now it's over to the right. Uh-huh. So what does that tell you? That it's open somewhere else? This entire room's revolving. Uh -huh. It's not just what's in front of the door. The entire room's revolving. You have two fixed doors. Okay. Yep. Push the button again. And another one, and another little pinhole here you can look through. Now it's on the left again. Yep, and that was the original door you walked through. Huh. So the whole room is rotating and moving all these between five different spots along the outside of the wall. Okay. Gee, the number five. That can't the be. The number five. Right. Hit the button one more time. And now, the, now you've got one door that's open in front of you, but the other door is open in front of another spot that's also got a grate closed in front of it. Mm -hmm. That's not just a spot in the door. That's just not a thing in the door. That is a grate beyond the room. Uh-huh. So you've seen this, and there appears to be a large, heavy door on the other side of that. Yeah. Okay. So now, go ahead and leave here. Okay. And uh, don't go across the bridge yet, because it'll be a little while before we need to go there. You can hit the button if you want to. It's, okay. If you hit it too well one more time after this, it'll just reset the room back to the way you found it. Okay. Yeah, this time you don't see any of the, the yep, door. Yep, because the other one is just out of your range of vision. Man, the, the fact that it uses beetles to view those, um, those stained glass windows, I wonder if the beetles are of some sort of 
significance of this world. Well, clearly, nah. yeah, clearly, Cyan were big fans of George, Paul, John, and Ringo. <laughs> hey, so now you, I mean, you can go across the bridge, but there's not much you're going to be able to do over there that you care about. Mm -hmm. Or at least there are things you can do, but you want to do things around here first. Okay. Yes. Because you don't want to have to come back here any more than necessary. So, yeah, yeah. This is this is one of the funniest things in the game. So, yeah, you can't... The, the lock is there. You don't have a key for it. Mm -hmm. Click under the gate. Oh, hello. We, we can't yeah. take the knife. You oh, can't, can't take go the under knife. The door. They are everywhere. But you can go under the gate. They locked it, but didn't do a very good job. Good job. Yeah. Also, uh, notice... Here we go. There's yep, one of you the have doors. another... You have another entrance to that room from over here. Okay. So now... I'm, I'm going to guess you know what you need to do now. Yep, now I gotta set this thing up. Mm-hmm. And also notice that when you click to turn left or right, mm -hmm. it doesn't turn you 90 degrees. Nope. It turns you towards a relevant scene. Yeah. Yeah. So if you're going up or down stairs and there's nothing to look at in the side, clicking to the left or right will make you turn around 180. Uh -huh. So just be prepared for that. Okay. I think I gotta turn it one more, two more times, I think. One more time. Okay. So, you may have noticed well, when we were starting in Riven that there were these giant dagger-like structures. That was actually part of Atrus's original escape plan. Basically, he wanted a giant distraction, so he messed with the Riven, uh, the Riven descriptive book to make giant daggers fall from the heavens so he could attempt to make his escape. And actually, the location where he made his escape is right under the giant ice cream cone. Mm-hmm. Oh, okay, I'm in here again. <laughs> okay. So, go ahead and look around. It looks the exact same. Yeah. And remember that dot that I told you to look at? Yeah. Those were the pinholes that you were looking through on the other side. Oh, okay. Yeah, I was thinking that was the case. Yep. Okay. So, you notice that, okay, you made it so this... You made it here... Mm -hmm. But the other door is closed off by a grate? Yeah. Well, knowing what you know about the room now, what do you do? Do I... Oh, do I go back, adjust again, and then go back through the gate? Yep. You need to line up the other door with this entrance. Okay. Which should be what? Two, Two turns. More. Two turns. Two turns, okay. You can tell because the entrance there is immediately to the right of the entrance here. Okay. And you see that door over there? Mm -hmm. That'll come across to the other entrance, which you push the button again. Okay. Yeah, think of the room like the pat, like the star pattern on the floor. Mm -hmm. With each door, with each entry being at a different point on the star. Okay. Or actually opposite a different point on the star because the way they have it laid out, but they could so you know it's just easier to say. Think of each room as a different point on the star. Okay, now we can go through here. Yes, we can. So, um, notice the sign there? Yep, that's the ice cream cone. Uh-huh. Definitely hear something Russian. Uh-huh. Okay, so that's a thing. You didn't have to do that now, but mm -hmm. you might as well have gone ahead and done it. Yeah. 
because you won't have to come back here later. Okay. Yep. Now don't charge all the way into the room yet. Go back one step. Okay. Oh, there's another button. Although don't mess with that button yet. Mm -hmm. Uh, turn turn around and look at the door. Yeah. Oh, there's a lever. There's a lever. Pull the lever. Well, I definitely heard something. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so now, what that has? Do you want to know what that has done, or do you want to find out? Uh, might as well hear what it is. It lifted one of the grates. Ah. Yeah. Okay. Or sank it down, however you want to look at it. It moved a grate out of your way. Okay. So now, you can go back to the, uh, you can go back to the main entrance. Mm -hmm. Okay, I just... Other, other door. Yeah. No, not oh, that one. That one, that one. Just... <laughs> I just really like that pipe. <laughs> See that door over on the right? Oh. Yep. There you go. Oh, hello. There it is. Whoops. <laughs> I, yep. I, I just they, really like touching that gate. Do you really like hearing the sound of that chain squeaking? <laughs> now... Okay, go in and see if that has opened up the that particular grate. No. Okay, nope, it has not. So, The Dunny love their complex architecture. But Lantern! The people here are Rivenese, not Dunny. You know what? Shut up. <laughs> yep. Two more pushes of the button to get to that space we just opened up. Okay. And then we'll have to reline it up to go back in the other entrance. One more. Yep. And now you can go behind that first grate that you just opened up. So... Not that one. I that guess. one. That one. <laughs> oh, this door's still sealed up. Yep, turn around. It, there's another button. Oh, another lever. Yep. So the other grate we didn't we couldn't move before yep. is now out of our way, and we can progress to the way we need to go to finish this off. Okay. <laughs> So, so Courage is messaging me during this, and I told him we're doing Riven, which he's never played before. Uh-huh. And, and he's, he's asking if the game is any good, um, and I'm telling him, yeah, but it's much harder than this. He asked, are there levers that change something like 20 miles away? Yes. Yes, there are. <laughs> there are many of those. Okay, so now I believe you can go in the room. Well... Yep, there you go. Now you should be able to just walk through that door over there. Looks like it. Do I have another thing I have to open up here? Nope, okay. Nope, nope. So just stop for a second. Notice this is a gigantic dome. Kind of hard to see the top from here. 
So the big thing that you see in all the promotional material. <laughs> yep, it is possible they put this in every bit of promotional material. <laughs> Actually, the, <laughs> I know that the thing for the box itself was not this dome. I know what it is, but we haven't gotten there yet. Okay. In that case. So yeah, go ahead and uh, proceed. <laughs> 